scared. They're acting like I'm leading the charge to have Heather's conviction overthrown, to have her walk out of prison a free woman. All I have done is request copies of her records. We could have a problem here. And I was well within my purview to do it, too. Not as the mayor, as a citizen, because for better or worse, Heather gave me her power of attorney. We've got to find out who got their hands on this information and leaked it to the press. I thought I should be the one to show you this. I'm glad you haven't seen it yet. Wait a minute, she's really going through with this. No, 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 no. H how could Laura even think of letting Heather Weber walk free after everything that she has done? I thought Jordan was overreacting when she spoke about Stella and Trina about revisiting Heather's case. Honey, I'm just as shocked as you are to learn that they're moving forward. But there's got to be something more to this story because the Laura I know would never do this. I still can't imagine Laura taking this on. Well, I can. No, she is testing the waters on this. And this article is proof of that. This is another step on the road that ends with Heather Weber being released. <laughs> OK, honey, we're not going to let that happen, all right? That's what I've been trying to say. But um, realistically, what can we do? If Laura finds a lawyer to take Heather's case and a judge to reopen it, how are we going to fight the whole justice system? Excuse me, Dr. Robinson? Yes. I need you to sign this patient's outtake form. Oh, just give me one second. You know what? Uh, I gotta go, and we'll talk tonight. Yeah, you better believe it. No. No, 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 this, this isn't right. Who ordered this? Donald, I have a favor to ask. Jordan Ashford would like to come down and talk to you about a confidentiality concern that we have. Thank you. Yes, she'll be down later this afternoon. Thanks. Bye-bye. OK. Donald Rollins, waiting for you in the records room. Here you go. OK. Mm -hmm. I'll check that. I know you warned me that this might happen, and I just want to say thank you for not saying I told you so. Well, I didn't expect it to happen this fast, but I really think you should get ahead of the story. Now, issue a statement saying you have no intentions of reopening Heather Weber's case and of trying to mitigate her sentence. I don't want to paint myself into a corner making a promise that I might not be able to keep. Yeah, but you don't advocate for freeing Heather, correct? Correct. Then draft a statement saying that. Come in. Hi, Laura. Hi, Curtis. What can I do for you? Do you mind if we talk for a minute? 